Greetings, microphones. I'm back with another Earthling review for you guys. So today we're looking at this guy, the Bayer Dynamic Fox, which is Bayer Dynamic's first USB microphone. If you do want to pick this guy up, it will set you back around $180 like always. I'll throw some links down below. And for the majority of this review, I have the microphone connected directly to my Mac on the high gain setting, recording at 24-bit 96 kilohertz. Not going to do any post processing, but I will likely boost it in post. So check the doobly-doo to see what I diddly did. Now let's talk about what comes in the box. Terrible throw. I think I broke something. So you do obviously get the microphone, you get the desktop mount, you get a quarter inch to five eighths inch adapter, you get the provided windscreen, you get maybe a one and a half meter cable, and you get some documentation. As far as the build quality of this thing, it actually feels really robust and nice. It has an all metal construction with a decent amount of weight to it, while the dials and buttons and switches are made of plastic. On that note, the dials do have a tiny bit of wobble to them, but it's nothing excessive or out of the ordinary, but I do need to point it out. Now on the front of the microphone, you will find a microphone mute button to mute the microphone. You'll find a mix dial to mix between zero latency monitoring and computer playback. You'll find the headphone volume control. And lastly, you will find a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which does offer latency free monitoring as well as computer playback audio. On the back of the microphone, you'll find a single switch to go between the high or the low gain settings. And you'll also find the USB-C port to connect this to your computer. And lastly, on the bottom of the microphone, you'll find a recessed quarter inch threading, which is the standard camera or tripod threading. So I wish it was 3 8 inch but at least they did provide a quarter inch to five eighths inch adapter. As far as the specs, this thing has a cardioid polar pattern, a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, a sensitivity of negative 15 or negative 33 decibels, a self noise of negative 88.5 or negative 107 dBA, a bit depth of 24 bit, and a sampling rate of up to 96 kilohertz. Right now, I'm speaking into the front of the Bayer Dynamic Fox, moving around to 90 degrees to show you the off axis rejection and coloration. We will continue around the microphone to 180 degrees to show you how it sounds from the rear. We will continue going around to the secondary 90 degree spot and we will continue and end at zero degrees in the front. Now I'm typing on a keyboard with Cherry MX Blues to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. Okay, I'm right on top of the microphone to show you the proximity effect. About three inches away from the microphone, one foot away from the microphone, two feet away from the microphone, and about four feet away from the microphone. Now, since this microphone does come with a desktop stand, I'll go ahead and place it on the desk in front of me, point it up at my mouth, maybe one or one and a half feet away, and show you how it sounds at this distance. And maybe I'll go ahead and type on my keyboard a little bit to show you how unideal it would be to have the microphone set up like this if you're gaming or typing on a keyboard for conference calls or anything like that. Okay, now I have the Bayer Dynamic Fox connected directly to a Windows 10 PC. You can see on this screen that there are no gain settings on the computer, but the microphone is set to the high gain mode, and this is how the audio is sounding. Okay, so since this microphone only has two gain settings, I'll go ahead and throw the spectral analysis up on the screen on the low gain setting, and then bump up to the high gain setting to show you how that looks and how that sounds. some lyrics for these songs but I don't want to sing another song because I know it just won't turn out well at all
Okay, so this is a USB microphone for any of those people out there who are a huge fan of that typical Bayer dynamic sound. So in terms of pros, this thing does have really nice preamps for a USB microphone. I love that it records up to 24-bit 96 kilohertz. There were almost zero issues when it came to sibilance, and I also really like the option to mix between zero latency monitoring and the computer's playback. But then in terms of cons, you have a very limited gain setting option here. It comes with a rather short cable, so it's difficult to mic anything far away from your computer. And I think the quarter inch threading is a little bit strange for a microphone. So as far as my overall thoughts of this microphone, on the electric guitar, it does have a looser lower end, which I'm not a big fan of, but then you get this really nice warm tone, which I do like. Then on the acoustic guitar, it did sound a little bit brittle. It sounded like it was lacking in the low end, and it also sounded like it was a bit overpowered in the air frequencies. Then for singing, this thing has a very, very warm, soft, and surprisingly smooth tone, and it looks like the cut from a approximately 6 to 10 kilohertz is what gives it that really soft upper treble range. And then for spoken word, this mic just gives you that very typical Bayer dynamic sound, which would be very smooth, very warm, and very mid forward. So now, would I recommend this microphone? I'm honestly a little bit torn here. Personally, do I like the tone of this microphone? Yes, but it's probably not going to be in my regular rotation of microphones because it does sound a little bit hollowed out in the treble frequency range probably because it is. And also the severely limited gain options can make recording a little bit painful. So typically at this point, I'm able to give you an absolute yes or no on if I recommend a microphone, but I'm so torn on this one that I think I just have to say that if you like the tone of Bayer dynamic microphones, if you're okay with the severely limited gain options, and you're going to be putting this on a boom arm, then sure, I would recommend it go ahead and pick it up. But on the other hand, if you're not the biggest fan of Bayer Dynamics tone and you just plan on buying this and placing it on your desk far away from your mouth, steer clear of it because you're not going to be getting any benefit from this thing. Okay, well, I think that's going to do it for today. So if you got anything out of this, thumbs up. If you hated it, thumbs down. If you do want more reviews of microphones versus series, conversations with other creators, go ahead and hit that subscribe button directly beneath me. You can also check out the Discord server. I'll throw a link in the description, and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.